We're going on an adventure to expose Napa Valley's most intimate secrets. Salutations from the Napa Valley. You may ask yourself, who are we to reveal such scandalous information? People often refer to me as the mayor of Napa, while others proclaim that I'm a walking encyclopedia about the Napa Valley. My friends and I grew up here, giving us a unique insider's perspective. We will guide you through the myriad of opinions about the Napa Valley. That way, you too can enjoy Napa Valley. Our first stop today is Sweetie Pies. Sweetie Pies to-go menu, all under $50, you can grab a go, and then plus they make a lot of stuff in here. It's a great place for breakfast and lunch, and Diego and I are in there all the time. We're at 520 Main Street here in the Napa Valley. Sweetie Pies is our first stop for affordable eating here in the Napa Valley. Next stop on our list, number two, Mall World Restaurant. They have a lot of stuff that's under 15 bucks. They do Middle Eastern food, falafel, and baba kanoush. Sean, the gondola guy, loves the lamb salad here. So this is definitely another affordable place to eat in downtown Napa. Next place on our list is Melted. And I came in here the other day and I got a sandwich and a cup of soup for $9.70. It has very limited hours. I believe it's Wednesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's a great spot for lunch. It's very affordable. It's here on Pearl Street in downtown Napa. The next place on our list is Taqueria Rosita. This is in downtown Napa. This place has been here for decades, but what's great about Taqueria Rosita is that you can get in and out of here really quick. They've always had really fast service, and that's one of the things that we love about it. And it's another affordable place to eat in downtown Napa, Main Street, right north of downtown. So definitely worth checking out if you're in a hurry and don't want to spend a lot of money. Taqueria Rosita is a great choice. Singing a song about wine in the beautiful Napa Valley. In Yonville, located inside the ranch market, is Velo Deli and Pizzeria. You can get pizza by the slice here, as well as breakfast, lunch items, pretty much anything you want. It's a full market, and plus there's a deli and pizzeria. This is one of the only, if not the only, affordable place in Yonville. Definitely worth checking out. It's been around for decades. Established in 1881, Oakville Grocery is reported to be California's longest continuously running grocery store. Definitely a really cool place. There's wine, there's cheese, there's coffee and espresso in the morning, sandwiches, et cetera, et cetera. It's in a beautiful location. It's really cool. It's funny, when I thought of this place, I thought La Luna Market has been around as long as I can remember, and it's a local favorite. Great, authentic Mexican food, tacos, burritos, and it's just old school Napa, and it is awesome. There is seating out back along the vineyards. They have picnic tables set up out there, so great place for lunch. Guingi? Juinji? I have never known how to pronounce the name of this deli, but I can tell you this, I've been going here for decades and it's a place I often stop and pick up sandwiches when I'm off mountain biking or off to go hiking or anything like that up Valley. It's super convenient stop along the way and you got to get the sauce, the juice they put on the sandwiches. It's so good. And it's really a unique deli, really quirky place. So check it out. While in Calistoga, if I'm looking to save some money, I often find myself at Su Wan Chinese restaurant. A lot of us are really picky about our Chinese food. Every time I'm here, it's consistent, it's affordable. The people, the staff, just very sweet. They're great people. Singing a song about wine 
in the beautiful Napa Valley. Came out west together with a common design. Even we had not to set the west coast on fire. Two months later had a trouble in my baby moved out and left me behind. But it's all right, cause it's midnight and I got two more bottles of wine.